You're watching Nevada Business Chronicles. Take a journey with us to see the innovative businesses that put Nevada on the business map. Connecting you with the businesses, events, and organizations that bring innovation and prosperity to the Nevada area, please welcome your host, Mitch Burney. Today we're with Christine Storm, an accomplished recording artist and fashion designer. Thanks so much for having us. Well, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Starting with the fashion design, you're wearing one of your articles of clothing. Yes. Born out of a need. Yes. Tell us about Clubwear Creations. I'm an avid golfer as well as my husband is. We were at Half Moon Bay at a wonderful golf course. We went out there and golfed nine holes and found it pretty backed up out there. So we thought, you know, let's go into the Ritz Carlton and have lunch. And the minute my husband suggested it, I looked down at my high-end golf clothes, those popsicle colors, those boxy lines, and I was like, oh no. But I knew he was starving, so I thought, okay, I will, just ri I will be daring and we will go into this Ritz Carlton and have lunch. And I walked in there and I wanted to instantly crawl under the table. All these ladies were dressed in these beautiful colors and warm, rich tones and metallics. And there I was in those popsicle colors. And I felt so uncomfortable that I really didn't enjoy myself. And I thought, you know, we can do better than that. I, there's no reason in the world why women can't be athletic and sexy at the same time. And some other women in other sports have broke that barrier. And I thought, you know, here's the time. There's a necessity here and we're going to grab onto it. And that's when Clubwear Creations was born. I want to make sure we didn't just skim over this. This dress that you're wearing right now is actually golf wear. It is. I've hemmed this one for our fun little segment here. And a lot of LPGA golfers like to hem their dresses pretty short. But this uh, dress actually comes in standard length and comes with a nice little pair of modesty shorts that you can wear underneath it. But absolutely golf proven. I golf in it all the time. It's comfortable, breathable, uh, wash and hang, and um, it's stunning out on the golf course. How does this convert from golf wear to dinner wear to nightclub wear? I think that's fascinating about your product design. Well, it's, um, if you're on a golf course, and especially a high-end country club, you might want to have it zipped up, you know, and it's a standard length, you know, four inches above the knee. So that's the standard length of any high-end golf resort. If you want to go out to dinner, you can, you know, or a nightclub, you can zip the zipper down a little bit, you can hem this, you can put on some high heels, and that's really our motto. You can go from the golf club to the nightclub with the change of a shoe. Your tagline describes it perfectly. Play well, look good. Yeah. And this really transcends the golf course as well. Many other applications. Yeah, it, it was meant to be worn not just on a golf course, but on a tennis course. Or the main focus of this was that if you wanted to go on a golf vacation or a tennis vacation, you're packing a bunch of clothes that are elegant, that are transitional. So you're packing a wardrobe, not just clothes. You know, a wardrobe that we add to every season when we're redeveloping a new line. But say you do go on a golf vacation, you're not gonna leave your clubs behind, and they're expensive. So you're gonna take less clothes because you're gonna take club wear, and you're gonna take the club wear creation line, you're gonna pack them in your bag, and realize that with the scorch, you can put a tank top on, and go shopping, you can put some high heels on, go to a nightclub, you can put some nice sandals on, go out to a nice beach dinner restaurant with the entire line, it's just transitional luxury active wear. You're not just using beautiful materials, but there's a style, a cut to your clothing. Where do you get that inspiration? Well, you know, it's a little edgy, but I'm an edgy person. I've been in the rock and roll entertainment industry my entire life. I was a showgirl for a long time and I worked with a lot of costume designers and I learned that they could take the same outfit, tweak it a little bit and make it look good on all these different body types that were in the show. And a lot of it had to do with elongating the lines, these princess seams, making things uh, look more spelt instead of boxy. And that's all couture. Those designers know what they're doing and those costumers. So I reflected back on my time on stage and thought, you know, let's not waste this opportunity. And right now we're gonna go see some beautiful women wearing some beautiful clothes in this very high end, very cool, very edgy photo shoot. So come on everybody.
Christine, where are we now? Well, we're in the desert, Mitch. Oh, I know that, but why? It's a shameless segue. Who's this guy? He's in my Spaghetti Western inspired music video called Much Greener, we're about to take a look at. So you're a country artist? I find inspiration in a variety of genres. This is kind of Spaghetti Western meets Cabaret. Sounds a little twisted, let's take a look. That was so cool. Thank you. One of your soundtracks, Raining Frogs, is destined to be the most important song of our decade, quite possibly the entire century. Can we take a look at that too? That sounds great. She would take up the space like she was in heat It didn't really know how to move her feet She used her ass to keep the beat Her mouth was full of endless street There's something wrong around here Too much blowing up his nose Needles were in his arms between his toes They had sordid times but no afterglows There's something wrong around here They're the new king and queen of the frogs Am I the only one who's noticed something very wrong?
days just to cool his feet He was in the lost and found The sad little guy in the town There's something wrong around here He had his ways of rearranging There's something wrong around here Where did you get the inspiration for that song, Christine? Well, I think everybody's been bullied. I've had siblings in my family that were bullied. I had a, a brother who was sick and he was bullied because of his size. I had a sister who was overweight who was bullied. Um, I've been bullied in my industry. And I think that uh, America is kind of uh, the anti-bullying force of the world. So bullying is a theme that we all need to address. It's become a plague, which is why the song is called Raining Frogs. And uh, I just think it needs to stop. You can purchase the Clubware Creations clothing line at clubwarecreations.com. You can follow Christine Storm on Twitter at at underscore Christine Storm, and you can also download her music on iTunes, Google Music, and Vivo. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you so much. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. Now more from Nevada Business Chronicles. This could be my favorite day ever doing this show. We are back at the Red Hawk Golf and Resort with David Medina, the Director of Operations. Thanks so much for having us back. We appreciate you coming back. So one of the things we want to showcase today is David's Grill. Um, I wish it was named after me, but it's not. It's named after David Loeb, uh, our great founder and developer of this resort. And without a doubt, one of my favorite restaurants of all time, and I'm not just saying that, the food here is always incredible. Well, I believe you because uh, I've tried it and, and it is great. And uh, now that you mention that, we're actually doing a revamp on our menu. And if you'd like, we can go in and meet Chef Rene and look at a couple items. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're in our uh, research and development kitchen here at Red Hawk. And this is our chef, Rene. Rene, nice to meet you. Mitch, nice to meet you as well. So we're, we're working on a great item here uh, that we're thinking of putting on our new menu because we are doing a whole revamp. And this is a filet mignon that Rene's been working on. And he's going to kind of show you the steps of what we're doing. Okay, Mitch, well, with our new menu changes, we're going to introduce a new cut of steak. It's a filet mignon. It's center cut from a tenderloin. It's CAV, which stands for certified Angus beef. Wow, nice uh, cut. We're going to saute some uh, U15s, prawns. Uh, we're going to do some asparagus, and we're going to do a nice thing with a, a potato wedge. Where we're going to saute it, top it with mashed potatoes, and then we're going to put it in the oven so you get a nice brown on it. So I'm going to go ahead and season this. Unless you have any questions? No, I'm excited. I'm hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and season this first. A little olive oil on both sides. Plenty of black pepper. Again, both sides. Salt, kosher salt. And then we're going to move to the grill. We're going to give it a couple marks on both sides. That's going to sear all the juices in so that when we go into the oven, everything will retain inside of it. That way you keep all that flavor, all the juices, everything that's in that certified Angus beef. And you get those beautiful grilled lines, charred lines on a steak. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna turn it. See those nice grill marks right there? Let's do one more turn. We're gonna do the same thing with the prawns. We're gonna do a little oil, salt and pepper. Same thing, both sides, so that when you cook them, they remain exactly as they are right now. Because once they're cooked, they shrink a little bit, so it's hard to put them back in that shape. And we're gonna be crowning the filet mignon with this shrimp, so we want them to stay exactly the way they are right now. So we're going to go over to the uh, skillet. We're going to take them really slowly and drop them. And like I said, we want to retain that shape. Because it's going to go on top of the filet. It's going to crown the filet. I noticed you threw your filet in the oven. I found that very interesting. I wonder other people are feeling the same way. When I grill a steak in, on the barbecue at home, I stay on the grill, but you can you threw it in the oven. How does that affect the outcome? So actually, you're able to control the temperature 
which means you can drop your temperature of your oven to about 315, 325. It'll take a little longer, but the consistency of the cut of the of the fillet will remain. More juicy, more, more tender. More juice, more tender. More control. More control. Interesting. On the grill, you tend to, you know, turn it and turn it. You lose your marks. You're cooking more on one side than the other. This way you're getting cooked from all the areas, all around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this again slowly so that you remain that circular shape. So next thing, Mitch, we have some potatoes that we parboiled today. And then we're gonna uh, saute them to get a nice crisp on them. And we're gonna do the same thing with asparagus. Those are pre-blanched. We're gonna oil them. Again, salt and pepper. Potatoes too, salt and pepper. And then we're gonna go ahead and saute those in a skillet. There's a new philosophy here at David's Grill of seasonality. Yes. We wanna offer our guests whatever's in season. We want the freshest produce, vegetables, anything that's out there that's in season, that's what we wanna have. That's why we wanna change three to four times a year. Wow. And still, and on top of that, we wanna offer daily specials that are always different, reasonable priced, and obviously they're gonna be very tasty. It's a very interesting philosophy. It keeps it always fresh and exciting. It keeps it fresh for me because I wanna to come to work because I get to come up with new ideas and just do whatever, what I like to do every day. You can't do all this work and not worry about your presentation. We gotta eat with our eyes. I'd be remiss if I didn't point out the spectacular views in the setting here at David's Grill. Mitch, I'm, I'm glad you did mention it because this is actually one of the key components of this resort. I mean, if you look back on the 18th green, it's just a beautiful setting. Um, we have movie night out here over the summer. There's just so much activity going on, live music. So it's just a great place for the community to come and enjoy a, a, a wonderful resort. I've had the personal pleasure of eating here many, many times. And I'm always impressed by two things, the quality of the food and service and how reasonable it is. I think there's an impression that it's country club pricing and nothing to be further from the truth. You're absolutely right. Um, if you look at our breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu, for breakfast we have a great happy hour, Monday through Thursday, which I don't think anyone else in this community is doing that. Great deal for the community to come out for that. And then you're right. Our, uh, Prices um, from breakfast to dinner are very, very reasonable. So in addition to the uh, filet preparation you saw uh, back in the kitchen with Rene, he's also gonna bring out a few more items that we can try off our menu. Rene, what have you prepared for us? So to start, we have a veggie omelet. That is beautiful. It is. As you can see, we have spinach on the outside of the omelet. It's filled with tomato, zucchini, feta cheese, and it's topped with an avocado, and it's served with uh, our home fried potatoes. Did I understand correctly, this is gluten-free also? Absolutely. Many of our dishes are gluten-free. So along with all the awards that we have won, best resort, best golf, best restaurant, we've also won best burger of, in Sparks. That being this burger that we're bringing back, it's called David's Original Burger. It's made with our homemade bun. And we are very proud to say that we use certified Angus beef on all of our burger patties. You get to enjoy the steak that we prepare for you in the back. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Next, we have our uh, cup salad, which is a derby style cup salad. So derby means that your lettuce, your greens are tossed in blue cheese. And then it's topped with all these beautiful fresh ingredients that we have. Avocado, bacon, tomato, blue cheese scrambles, and hard-boiled eggs. David's Grill is located just down Vista Boulevard at 6600 North Wingfield Parkway. The phone number is 775-626-6000. You can visit them on the web at RedHawkGolfAndResort.com. That's David Medina and Renee Preciado. Gentlemen, thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you so much for coming out and visiting us. Hope to see you soon.
information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. Now more from Nevada Business Chronicles. Dog lovers, roll over. We're here today with Alex Melendez of Canine Cuties. Thanks so much for being on our show. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Mitch. <laughs> What's Canine Cuties? Yeah, so Canine Cuties is in your home pet sitting. Um, so we provide pet nannies coming into your home and taking care of the doggies um, so they're in their own environment. And I understand you will offer two different levels of that service. Yes, we do. So one of the services is an overnight stay. So say you're on vacation, so we actually stay overnight. The second service, say you're at work, you can't get home for lunchtime. We do hourly, daily visits. So how did Canine Cuties get its start? So actually, Canine Cuties started because I was using it as a stress relief. So during my first year of law school, I walked dogs just to have a little getaway for my own sense. But I started seeing there was so much demand and I saw so much joy it brought me. Uh, I decided to make a career change and I started Canine Cuties. That is quite the career change. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> what distinguishes Canine Cuties from other services? I think the individualization that we provide all of our clients. So before we take on any clients, we do a meet and greet. That way I can start their file, get to know even, for example, what's their favorite toy, anything like that. So we give them that specific need that they, they actually want. Well, yeah. I understand one of your clients has agreed to allow us to show Canine Cuties in action. Yeah. Let's take a look. Hi. Yeah, so I was wondering what types of services are you looking for Rusty here? Well, you know, I work long hours and... Uh, you know, R Rusty is left here all alone by himself, and I feel really bad. I mean, he can go out and do his business, but he's still left here all mm -hmm. alone. And sometimes I have a little camera on him, and um, I hear him cry sometimes, and that just breaks my oh, heart. So you want somebody to come in, give him some love, give him a walk, uh, just be here for him. And is that one of his favorite toys? I can kind of see. That is his favorite, yeah. He loves okay. that toy. All right, so just playing fetch, do you think he likes playing fetch a good amount of time? He loves playing fetch. He loves yeah. just, uh, he also loves uh, playing a pool with the rope. Okay, uh, a little tug of war. <laughs> yeah, and he's a puppy, so he just, he's active with pretty much anything. Yeah. Well, Rusty mm -hmm. looks very happy. Yeah. And so does his owner. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm definitely happy that they're happy. <laughs> I can see where people that go to work every day could really benefit from this service, but I understand that it goes further than that. Some mm -hmm. animals are on medications that need to be administered while yes. they're at work and you can provide that service as well. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So that way it gives them peace of mind. So we, all of our pet nannies are pet CPR certified uh, and I'm an actual instructor for the Red Cross for pet CPR. So we know how to administer the medication, make sure if anything were to happen that we have the right tools for it. Well, that yeah. makes everybody happy and the dog yeah. safe and the owner even twice as happy. Exactly. <laughs> I understand there's another family that's going to be going on vacation and we're yes. going to get to talk about the house sitting. Let's go do that. Yes, perfect. Now this family mm. has uh, gone on vacation for an extended period of time and you're providing overnight services. Yes, so they're actually away on vacation for two weeks and they have two little fur babies and they want somebody to be with them overnight, spend time with them. So that's the service that we provide and they sleep on the bed with us too. <laughs> that also provides a little added security because the home is occupied. So a little side benefit for that. Exactly, it gives them peace of mind. I can't wait to meet the Yorkies. Awesome. So this couple wanted us to do an overnight visit as well as a daily visit. So they didn't want them to be left alone for many hours. So what we do is we give them their fresh water, their fresh food, and we take them out on a walk during the daytime. And for the nighttime, that's when we have our sleepover and they sleep on the bed and everything with us. So what I'm doing here is I'm sending a text, picture, and video message to the parents that are on vacation right now. 
So that way they have a timestamp as to when I was here. And also, so they have a little gift of, oh my goodness, my dog is doing great. And they don't miss him quite as much. Oh, look, we got a text from Canine Cuties. That was incredible. <laughs> they had fun. We had fun. Yes. <laughs> I'm noticing an undercurrent of a kind of retro look, 1950-ish. Yes. So why I like so much about the 1950s is just like the traditional values in regards to business that it brought. A lot of integrity, a lot of really good customer service, and that's what Canine Cuties wants to do. Definitely, we're there for your fur baby. What does your fur baby need? So yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of people right now that want to know how they can contact you to watch their fur babies. Yeah, how they get a hold of you? Definitely. So Alex Melendez, Canine Cuties, 775-722-0189, or Canine Cuties, all spelled out. Dot net. That's Alex Melendez, K9 mm -hmm. Cutie. Thank you so much Hi, for friend. being on our show. Thank you. <laughs> for more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. For information on becoming a guest on our show, contact us at info at nvbusinesschronicles.com. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week at the same time for more from Nevada Business Chronicles.